Hi people, this is Nettie. Okay, today I want to talk about something more serious. Um, how I call it? The program Prom Promesa is coming to Puerto Rico. Um, and it's already accepted. They're going to help us out to reconstruct uh, debt. You know, we got 72 billion, but it's really a hundred and something billion. So, you know, we're in a real tight spot. For three million people, we in real tight spot, and I I won't be even surprised. There ain't no more three million people, because people have been leaving Puerto Rico left and right, left and right. Doctors, policemen, you know, uh, a cop call over here. He was making very little money over there with his qualifications that he had. He's getting a sixty thousand dollar starting. Not bad, right? Over here, he he would never see that. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, I got very happy because Fortunio plan uh, wrote, you know, it, it, he put his proposal that nobody that works for the govern ever worked for the governor of Puerto Rico cannot be in in the program. You know, this is in in which is good. Which is good, because you cannot put people, you know, your own people to watch your own p people. That's not, you know. So, um, what got me a little pissed off was seeing Gutierrez, the senator or something from Illinois. I don't know why those people vote for that guy. He's just show. He went there, he goes, oh, oh my father lives in Puerto Rico and blah, 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 blah. And they want work. They want respect. They want this. They want that. And I said, my God. The other guy who came, I don't remember the name. He was a senator too. He says, you know what? The real Puerto Rican here is Pierluisi. He knows what's going down in Puerto Rico. You just go to visit and go, hi, hi, and then go and leave. You know, and it's true. My parents are from Puerto Rico. My mother and father are from Puerto Rico. But I live in Puerto Rico. I love Puerto Rico. Uh, you know, one day I'm going to see him, uh, if I could go out and just take videos of the surrounding of Puerto Rico. So you could see how beautiful it is. You go to the island that is so gorgeous. You know. But, um, how you call it? What's killing is the, the poverty. The, the, you know, they raise every, every tax. And then they expect every, the poor people to pay. But the rich people are getting richer, you know, and that's not really fair. So now I, I hope with this PROMESA program, um, they make it a little just. Like start cutting off the the guys with the mega bucks, you know, cut them down a little bit and start helping the poor. It, um, another thing, you know, he does not know what's going on in Puerto Rico. Because he just says, oh, they just want jobs. They want jobs. How about the elderly? They don't need jobs. But they need somebody to take care of them. All their kids are leaving to the to the states. Right now they found two, a matrimony. They found them by the smell. Can you believe that? By the smell. They were a week dead already. And by the smell, somebody called the cops and they broke down the door and... They found them dead. If they would have had their, their kids probably living in Puerto Rico, or if they would have had one of these services that they have in the state, that they come, they check you out for four hours, and if you need, you know, some help, they help you, whatever. At least four hours. We don't have none of that. The people here in Puerto Rico, if you're disabled or you're elderly, you're on your own. If you don't have family, you're on your own, you know. And it's painful. It's painful to see people dying. I saw this um, when I first got here in Puerto Rico. I got shocked. I saw a man that uh, he was blind and he was living in a sink house. Yeah, you know, one of those sink things, metal things. That's what the way he was living. And in the middle of that little room, he would light up a fire to heat up the food that the people would give him. They, they, they gave that news. The next day they gave the news. That he passed too close to the fire, he lit himself in fire. 
you know, it's very painful. Very painful. Um, I don't know. I, I love Puerto Rico. I, sometimes I, I don't like the people. Sometimes I don't like the people because they're not sensitive to none of this. And I think that, you know, if, um, if we get straightened out and if we fight to become a state, it would be great. It would. But, um, this guy Gutierrez, he don't know what the heck he is talking about. What the heck he's talking? Then he goes and puts it in YouTube. Oh, I talked in Washington. I put them down. Oh, yeah. But then he didn't activate the, I call it, the, the comments. Because he knew what the comments were going to come. A lot of people here in Puerto Rico don't like him. You know, he shows off about, oh, he's Puerto Rican and this, 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 that. He don't want to live here. Why don't he be a senator over here in Puerto Rico? Because he know he ain't going to get jack crap money. He has to steal the money to, in order to get what he has over there. You know. Oh, yeah. They, their kids, I don't know. They, they ain't going to live around here. I don't know. But Puerto Rico is beautiful. You know. And that's what you got to do. I told Gutierrez, please, if you think you're helping Puerto Rico, you're not helping them. You look ridiculous talking in Spanish over there to the Congress when they don't know Spanish. That's uneducated. Didn't they ever taught you education? You know, all these years as a Senate, you still don't know education? You know, please give us a break. Give us a break. I think it's time for unity, for all of us to get united, work with the Promesa, and try to move on. You know, get our, ourselves together, learn how to... Uh, budget ourselves, learn how to not be so fanatic, you know, learn how to say no to the government when they're doing something wrong, and try to be that American citizen that we should be, you know, and then maybe that way we could fight for statehood, you know, uh, Rosa, you thinks he's going to get statehood now? No, they ain't going to give him no statehood, they know, uh, they know where he's coming from, so, you know, I'm telling the people of Puerto Rico, we got to unite. Unite for the better. You know, forget about who's popular, who's PNP, who's this, who's that. No. Let's be one Puerto Rican. One united Puerto Rican. To um, bring Puerto Rico up. And Gutierrez, please, don't do us no more favors. Well, that's all for now. God bless you. And I'm sorry I got a little emotional. But the elderly, to me, is very emotional. Very. Because of the things I've seen. So, God bless you all. <laughs> and until next time, bye-bye.